Oh, here we go. <laughs> gonna gonna get the Ford Icon today. Kill the non believer. I don't even know if even even with a character that's not hugely based around aether damage, I don't know if flesh hulks are worth killing in all honesty. Although, the great thing about having the Aether damage worked in, at least what little I have right now, is chill mains are a little easier to deal with. I said a little easier to deal with. Not a lot. <clears throat> I am, however, going to skip the... Uh, down here, there's... Um, I think it's a guaranteed spawn of a cold-related... A, a cold um, reanimator hero. And I think I'm just going to skip that. <laughs> So I have no idea, after I get the the skills I have right now leveled up, I actually have no idea what I'm going to do for like my ending, what I want to do at the end of my skill points. Do I want to pick up Lightning Totem and replace the Haunt attack with that? Because I, I know I'm not going to be using Haunt as my final relic. Oops. Should I pick up... I actually have no idea what relic I'm going to end up using. I think I'm leaning towards Avenger, but I have the Storm also a possibility but yeah once I once I get all my 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 skills I have right now leveled up I think I'll have like an abilities worth of skill points left over and I don't really know what I want to use Could be lightning totem. I could. I could level up, like the middle ability maybe on. Uh, both Trojan. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be leveling up all of Trojan Sky Shards or Wind Devils. Definitely the first and third abilities are going to get leveled up. Um. Like, dang it, I was hoping I wouldn't actually run into this guy, but I did. So yeah, I mean, 
in a bit of a build debate here. I could level up tru or, uh, Electra's Flash Freeze. That'd be a great ability to have leveled up. Because it hits the whole screen when you get it to 12. So, <laughs> the uh, the Devotion Shrine that's in normal, way over there, is obviously not in Elite, so we can move on. This place is always dicey to run through, because you never really know what enemies are going to be right there. And up here you have some Aetherials. fighting some Order and Kaimans guys, so... Yeah, and then suddenly we got Kaimans chosen to fight up here as well. Because they... They are going for this uh, Tomb of the Archon up here. Which I guess is a sacred spot for them. And I don't know if I'm going to go for the Devotion Shrine that's in there. I may because it's easier to do it on Elite than an Ultimate. <laughs> it's just that it's a very pricey one in terms of... In terms of what it requires you to offer. Also, I'll point out here, I didn't point this out when I actually chose my chose my faction, but you uh, you could really go either way with a, a druid like this. Because we're, we're like lightning cold aether, and it's like, yeah, we could go with the cold damage from the order, the lightning damage from the chosen... But that tiny extra ethereal damage potential that that the order provides, I think, is just a slightly makes it a slightly more appealing choice. Okay, that was actually a pretty easy fight for for this uh, round of of uh, waypoint capturing. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run the armory. Run the armor immediately, and then call it. It's not that long of a dungeon. I'm just not going to aggro any of that crap over there. <laughs> it's like, it could that could have been potentially funny. I'm just not going to aggro any of that crap over there. And like, my tornado just wanders over.
Hand's a little asleep, though. <laughs> Just from the nature of where, like, resting my elbow on a rigid piece of plastic that is my... My desk chair with my wrist resting on my desk. Combined with a lot of heavy clicking, it's like, oh, blood flow to my hand. Kind of lower than I want it. <laughs> lower than it really needs. Hand starting to fall asleep. Optional little side quest area is done. Vessel's mine. No. Well, yeah, sure, take it. <laughs> it's like, this vessel's mine, and it's like it's a mage wrapped in Mirror of Arachtes, and I'm like, you know, just take it. You're doing fine, son. You're doing fine. Again, just keep the vessel. Like I said, it's a very quick dungeon you can run through. Oh, hey, that was not difficult at all. <laughs> it's fun having a character that can, like, legitimately do some, like, ridiculous run-around kiting. All right, so we're, we're back in Fort Icon at the end of the game. Now I'm actually going to have to fight this crap. So thanks for watching, everyone. I, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time for probably the Plains of Strife, or my next my next task, um, or going in the uh, the Tomb of the Archon. <laughs>